Do you want more spice in your life? Let me tell you a story about hot sauce and how it brought joy to my day. A co-worker walked into my office this morning and handed me a gift bag. I opened it and it was three bottles of homemade hot sauce that her husband made. She didn't bring me hot sauce because I love spicy food. It was her small way of thanking me for my generosity. I've been working at the same company for almost four years. And on average, every week I buy lunch for the staff. This employee heard that I wrote a book called Live to Give to inspire generosity in other people. A few weeks ago, she bought my book and spent a few days reading the book. I had told the story of my uncle's addiction to gambling and how I helped him overcome that after 40 years. Two days ago, she shared that her nephew battled alcoholism and is still struggling despite all types of treatments. After she talked to me, I handed her a note with the name Blessed Matthew Talbot, who was a young man in Australia who struggled with alcoholism and overcame it. In fact, he is a patron of those who suffer from alcoholism, and many treatment programs for alcoholism are named after him. This employee was tearful two days ago when I gave her hope because I took time to listen to her nephew's story and offered help to give them hope. Soon after she read my book, she told another employee about it, who then purchased my book and told me that she would share it with her son who is in medical school and wants to do medical missions. It doesn't take a millionaire to make an impact when it comes to generosity. Taking time to listen to someone's story and concern and sharing advice can create a ripple effect in kindness and generosity. Follow me for more stories like this.